Hello, hello everyone. Happy New Year. It's Tony. And this new year I have been purging and cleaning and organizing to make space for a new workplace for my sons and a neat, clean, organized office for myself. So I want to show you a quick system I used in my basement to help keep a messy collector like me neat and organized. Okay, so there's one really good system I use to help keep my areas in order. I call it Doc. I like to think Doc has the cure for all my messy spaces. So I follow these steps. D. D is for determine. Determine the value of each item in your space. Is it worth keeping? I usually keep the things that I need or I know that I'll use within a year. Should you trash it? I usually immediately trash the things that are obviously trash or that have been hanging around for over a year and I haven't used them and I know no one else can. Or should I donate it? If I don't want it anymore but it's still in great condition, I'll just put it in a box and drop it off at my favorite Goodwill. After you determine what you're going to keep, the O is for organize. You want to organize or group all the like items together so that you can see contain them. Pick up some pretty containers to help store and organize your stuff. The prettier the better. You can use what you have already but make sure the containers are similar. The containers will make the room look neat and organized while holding loose items. Now I have to say the container is my best friend because it makes it really easy to just toss whatever's out into the container where it belongs. Now inside the container doesn't have to look very neat, but it will always look organized from the outside as long as you keep the containers in place. So just remember when your space gets a little out of control, Doc can help you determine, organize, and contain your mess. Okay, now let me show you a few things I did to help organize and create more space in my entire basement. First thing I did was to clean out my messy basement closets. I have two closets that were just filled with nothing but junk. When I pulled everything out, I had an entire basement filled with things that we didn't use or need. So I used Doc to sort through everything and there were quite a few things that we could donate but there was also lots of equipment that I had that I wasn't using that still work and still in the boxes that I could sell. Clearing out the closets gave me so much room to store all my camera equipment, my lights, my easels and everything that I had cluttering up my office and the rest of the basement. Even though I got rid of a lot of the equipment that was in my office, I still had lots of supplies that I used for crafting. So I decided to hide most of my supplies in a small space on the side of my drawing table. I put up a black bookshelf and I got some black fabric boxes from Walmart for about $3 each. Since I wanted these boxes to sort of disappear, I put my labels underneath the boxes rather than on the front so I can just slide it up to see what's in it. Now I have a lot of supplies on the wall but since it's all black it's almost invisible. Cleaning this area even gave me enough room to warm up the space with one of my homemade paper trees. I made this one using sticks and green paper that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I always keep large glass pieces and items that I find for my project. But last year I made these large boxes that really help to keep everything neat and organized. I also have another business where I keep lots of papers and files and discs. And containers and baskets really help with keeping my desk in order. Right outside of my office is the playroom. We call it the playroom because the kids would play in here while I work and I could see them from the glass doors. 
but now they use it for playing video games and socializing. My boys are my children now. They're 20 and 22, and now they're doing their own thing. They're working on creating their own businesses. My son plays music and records, and they were talking about getting a studio, a place where they could work. Well, since I'm purging a lot of things, I decided this room is really big and half of the room is not being used. This area right here, this TV doesn't work. There's trophies um, that can go in their room and games and toys and um, things that they use when they were kids. So I can clear most of these things out since I have room in the closet now. After purging, donating, and moving things around, I was able to create a space for them using things we already had. Except this desk. I bought one desk and I used the top of an old coffee table and an old wooden cabinet to create a new desk. I unscrewed the coffee table and put the top of the table on the cabinet and painted the trim in black to match the other desk. Then I put all my son's instruments, mics, equipment, and computers out so that they can use them to work and record. While I was dropping off my donations to Goodwill, I picked up a few things to decorate the new space with like this little box, lantern, and this really nice lamp. At Goodwill and thrift stores, I always find interesting things to use as containers. I found this really nice mosaic piece that I'm using as a tissue box. As you can see, it cost me only $1.91. I had to rub the price off. And a nice silver tray and silver bowl that I'm using to hold office supplies. Oh, and a silver cup as a pencil holder. Oh, wow. Ian and Aaron love this space. You got this new desk and everything? Wow. Getting rid of the old to make room for a new functional space not only looks good, but it makes you feel free and it renews your inner spirit. Hey guys, join me, Clutterbugs Cass Orison, and Home Stagens Tori Tolt for a free online home organizing class. We'll be streaming live and answering all your decluttering and organizing questions on January 25th. So sign up now at bit.ly slash organize 2017 to reserve your spot.